Tarantino presents... Warriors! We'll see who's left standing and who's on their knees. <laughs> the new legends of Kung Fu. Some pleasure before business? You a business. This is pleasure. You know, working with Riza on The Man with the Iron Fist is almost as good as it gets for a number of reasons. Riza um, had an original vision for this movie and it was very detailed down to what the characters wore, the costumes, the hairdo, the weapons that we used. Everything was very specific. He already had it in his mind. And secondly, Riza is also an artist. That actually means something. I don't throw that word loosely. It means something because an artist, any artist, um, uh, working with many other artists, would know that uh, you know they're they're basically very open to ideas. That's really important in a collaboration for a film. You know, I brought in some kind of off-track ideas, which I shared with him in the beginning, and he was very. Not, I guess receptive would be an understatement. He was. <laughs> he says, can you bring more? <laughs> like, I mean, I said, Riza, this is kind of sick. Is that okay? He says, yes, I love it. Give me more. So, you know, some of the stuff that I did, I was just kind of, you know, fooling around with this character. And I'm actually shocked at some of the stuff that actually, you know, got into the final cut of this movie. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, my goodness, that went in. You know, this is a fun fictional, you know, martial arts laden um, kind of a film. And in it, the way it's written, it is a sensibility, it should be fun and wild and freaky and unusual. Eli Roth was on set every single day. He helped shoot some of the footage Second unit, you know, when Rizzo was tied up, you know, he, Eli was part and parcel of this whole film, bar none. Quentin came out for like a week to two weeks in the middle of the shoot. One day, Quentin Tarantino comes up, just comes up for breakfast. It's like, hey, hey, wow, you look the same as on camera. You talk the same like on camera. He was friendly, he was humble, he was, um, he was exactly as you'd imagine him to be, you know, very approachable. We just all had breakfast together. We just talk our thing, you know. My character that I play, I didn't even have a name. They didn't have a name for this guy. He was called the man or the Chinese man or the man. And, you know, I didn't know what to make of it. But it, it, it really is unveiling itself every week. Um, uh, basically, Oliver Queen, played by Stephen Amell, uh, you know, is marooned on this island for five years. And at the end of the five years, he comes out as like an animal, like a, you know, arrow shooting vigilante. My character is someone who meets on this island and who's, I should say, intricately involved in his evolution into the arrow character. But as you'll see, and I just got the script for, this is episode like 111, I think, and I'm going there next week to shoot it. Um, there are some really freaky changes of of events. Okay. Yeah, okay. but so it's it, he's a very mysterious character, and there's a lot of very weird things that happen on this island. He's going to be quite involved with Deathstroke. Absolutely. And we don't know if what side of good or bad he's going to fall into. We don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>